Sterling Properties of Santa Barbara proudly presents Ken Boxer Live. From the American Riviera in Santa Barbara, California, it's Ken Boxer Live with your host, Ken Boxer, and co-host, two-time Olympian Ty Babylonia. Please welcome Ken and Ty. Thank you for watching. I'm Ken Boxer. Let me introduce to you my very talented co-host, the two-time Olympian, five-time national champion, as well as the world champion figure skater, Ty Babylonia. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You're very welcome. Thank you, Ken. Well, what was it like in this last episode we did, this uh, first part with Randy Gardner? What was it like interviewing your, your partner? It's surreal. It's... Um you know, the questions, I, I, I know the answers because we, we've answered them, you know, as a team for forever, for the last, you know, 40 years. So it, it, it's, I just have to be careful of not jumping on his answers, which I have as <laughs> a you horrible. you love to talk. And I love to talk. So, and this is Randy's moment. So I just have to let him take you on the journey, but it's been great and I love it. I love it. Well, let's get started. Yeah, so don't go away. We'll be right back with my soulmate, best friend, two-time Olympian, Randy Gardner. Oh, yeah. Ken Boxer Live, brought to you in part by the Wildcat Lounge, repeatedly voted Santa Barbara's best dance club. The Eagle Inn, a family-owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. And by Santa Barbara Chicken Ranch, authentic Mexican style mesquite barbecue. Now back to Ken Boxer Live. Thank you. We are back. If you're just joining us, last week our guest was the ice skating champion and Ty Babylonia skating partner for over four decades, Randy Gardner. Randy was kind enough to agree to be with us for a special two-part series with an interview with him. So we are so very delighted to be able to continue our conversation with the two-time Olympian, the five-time national champion, and world champion figure skater. Let's welcome back to our show for part two, Randy Gardner. Randy, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Yay, good. What, but what's it like, though, to have <laughs> Ty uh -oh. asking you the question. You've done a great job training her. Well, She's you. really oh. good. She's really good. Are you surprised? N no. <laughs> no. Okay. No, because she can talk. And she does really, she's really good. Thank you, it's Randy. An, it's very That's, impressive. I well, let's This talk. is not Thank easy you. doing that. No, it's not easy. And especially. Well, she's fun to be with. Good. Yeah. Well, good. you got to give me advice, though. So. Give me some advice from the beginning now. You've been advice. with her four, yeah, advice, four decades. Mm -hmm with her, and I've only been with her as a partner for one year. Give me some advice, how uh, to handle her. Advice, it was, it was, uh, just, just be kind, nice, and honest. Okay. She likes all those things, you know, and. Right. Um, how about always yes, Ty? Yes, Ty? No, of course, Ty. she doesn't like yes, that Ty. either, really. No, okay. No. no. <laughs> you have to look yeah, to her true. to no, see it's if that's true. Right. It's true, yeah. it's about It's about honesty. Yeah, she likes that honesty. I love that. I love okay. that. Okay, well, let's talk honesty about going back for a moment. On our last show, we were talking about the 1980 Olympics mm -hmm. and the tragedy. Okay, after that, those games, now you're, you know, you're, the world knows you've had all these interviews from hundreds of reporters. You go back home mm -hmm. and you're obviously disappointed. But has it carried on with you for all these years? Do you ever just look back and, and think back on those times and say, oh gosh, if I could only have done something differently. If I, I wanted to win that, because you guys were so poised to getting that Olympic uh, gold. Uh, um, I think back, and it was a great, it, you know, hindsight, it was a great learning experience in life. It was probably one of the toughest ones I, we could have ever gone through. Um, you know, however, you know, the first, the first, 10 years, it was hard to think back and talk about and reflect and good news is I went to therapy and was able to skate and we knew we were going to be turning pro and touring with ice capades and doing other things. I was able to skate again. 
That and was that, the big question. We, we weren't even sure if he could skate again. So. Right. But as professionals, yeah. you're, you know, injuries happen. But did you have this burden of guilt? Was there a little a bit, guilt? yeah. Yeah. Uh, letting the country down, letting Ty down, letting myself down, you know, just sort of that, oh my God, really? Um, yeah, because if you were to quit, she's out of a job. Correct. Right? And right. vice versa, you're both right. so, right. Inter so connected. interconnected. Right. Yes. Right. Well, what's interesting, um, and, I, and I always get this question, um, first of all, they always ask, interview, interviewers will ask, if I was upset with, with him getting injured. And I think, you know, it's one of the silliest questions to me. And, you know, they want me to, say, they want me to be upset and angry and furious. And I say, no, I, it was the exact opposite. This is my best friend who was hurt and really couldn't do anything about it. Um, but other people would have reacted differently than the way she did, you know. So I think what if it was reversed? Mm -hmm. How would you react? It? Probably the same, you know, because y you understand injuries and, you know, it's disappointing. I mean, uh, you know, we had worked all that time and all that, but what can you really do if someone's injured? Well, whose decision was it to keep it from Ty for, you the, know, our for coach, all those, really? Our coach, John Nix. Yeah. In hindsight, much. did you think it was, that was a good thing to do now? Or uh, I, think, was yes. it a big deal for you, Ty? I mean, was it big, not knowing well, it, they didn't let you in well, on Well, I, I, I knew something was wrong. First of all, I knew when we were out there in, in the warm-up, this is someone who never falls. If anyone's gonna fall, it's me. Um, hmm. So he kept, and this is a jump he had done, you know, since he was a child. It was a, a double flip jump. And he just, you know, he was fall, and it wasn't even a, a normal fall. And I, I just, I, I, you know, and I was landing mine, and he was sprawling, and I was like, I knew something was wrong. Um, but you feel kind of helpless. So I, I knew he was hurt. I didn't know that the whole leg was deadened, and he could not feel it. I knew he had gotten the shot, and that was kind of it. So in hindsight, I think, you know, Mr. Nix and Randy did the right thing. And he said he, they did that because they didn't want me. There was enough pressure going mm -hmm. into it. Um, so that was, that was the decision he made, and I think it was the correct one. You know, it, th things happen for a reason. Yeah. And well, well, let's go to yeah. a happier moment. Because we have another okay. clip, we have a clip, our first clip for tonight. It was an <laughs> NSA event. Do you know this clip? That this we're about clip to see? is from after we won Worlds in '79. We did a performance at Wembley Arena in London for the Queen of England. So this was like a command grand performance for Your Majesty. Okay. Well, let's watch both of you in action. The pair skating champions of the United States. Pair skating champions of the world, Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner. We have Randy Gardner as our guest. Randy, you and Ty went to the Soviet Union mm -hmm. prior to the fall of the Soviet Union. What was sure. it like as a as a um, uh, skater 
athlete in the Soviet Union. It was interesting. We were in 1973, mm -hmm. and we were the first American skaters to compete in Russia. So we were young, and and uh, what, what, uh, the competition was what the first six or eight or first five or six, we're Russians. and then us. Yeah. In the results, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Great experience, though. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, so it was very, but, but the experience of going there and being in that environment, and it was in Moscow, and, you know, uh, our, our hotel rooms were bugged, and we had an interpreter that right. stayed with us, and it was very, very interesting when you think back. Yeah, pre Soviet, I mean, it's during Soviet time, pre Russian Absolutely. Time. The height. Yeah. The height. Okay, yeah. well, it's, I'm glad you guys represented us. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Okay. It was but an honor. Talk to us about all the, you in your personal life, because in this sh part of our segment, we want to talk about your personal life, that it's out in the open, that uh, you're gay, and you were uh, performing all these years not telling anyone. In fact, I don't think Ty knew, or did she know at the... At some point, <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew she didn't know. Was different. Wait, 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 Ty. When, when he was playing with my Barbie dolls, I knew there's something. It was just so cruel. <laughs> no, I just. No, so you had to keep that from people for a long time during sure. that period of time. Yeah, in that set, in that whole era, 70s, 80s, 70s and 80s, you, you were in the closet. And so, yeah, and so I didn't really come out to friends and stuff till a, a little bit during that time, but then after that. Um, you know, but thank God the world has changed since then, and yes. I got married. You know, and it was a beautiful wedding. Yeah, we did. Beautiful we did wedding. Two thousand eight. You know, eight. You know, before Prop Eight got kicked mm -hmm. in, you know, we made it. Um, so yeah, so that that's all. You well, know, what was the that? But for you, as a world class athlete, mm -hmm. having to, you know, keep this personal thing a secret must it would difficult. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I just didn't talk about it. Y you didn't talk about it. It was almost like it didn't because exist. Because of endorsements? Because Would the endorsements that was, would have been sure, dropped? later, yeah, that, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, or, you know, family things, society, all that stuff, you know. You just and it really wasn't, I mean, it, it wasn't so much, it wasn't an issue. At least to me it wasn't. It was, you know, it was about the skating. We just right. wanted to be the best skaters out there and whatever the other stuff. It, di it didn't really come into, at least from my perspective, come into the ring. But I remember I reading Randy said that he approached you and he said for the first time that he was gay. And you, your comment was? Your reaction? What was my comment? Was this in Branson? Oh, I knew that, silly boy. Was this in Branson you when you, you did? Knew yeah. That, that Where was, was it? it was somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, that no, it was like I this big buildup, and he was so excited to tell me, and I, I was like, I knew that. This, <laughs> we kind of all knew that, but it was, just, I mean, it, I, it was very endearing, because he was so out, happy. You ha it's like any of that stuff, I think, sober, any of that stuff, you just sort of take it, Yes. you approach people, and you talk, start talking about it. Right. Yeah, yeah, well. It normalizes it. Yeah. So, what I want to know, Randy, hmm. With I'm I'm totally changing gears. Is that okay? Yes. Because there's so ahead. much to talk about. Um, let's talk about figure skating today. Mm -hmm. Let's let's give you a break and talk about why do you think figure skating? It's at an all-time low. Mm -hmm. It's 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 down in the TV ratings. It's down in audience attendance. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? And if you were to make any kind of change in the in amateur skating well there's no amateur skating but just in skating what changes would you make to bring it back to where it was at the top uh, okay so the new judging came in it's called IJS international judging system and that happened after 2002 there was a big controversy in Salt Lake City you know judges were tapping what they were placing people next to each other and all that stuff and there was a trade-off between the dance team and the pair team and all that kind of stuff so cut cut forward to here, they've changed the system where it's really black and white, and it's very hard for the uh, public to follow it. Um, it's gotten a little better in that there's like this little box that we're in now, a lot of rules and all this stuff going on, but there's st people like Gracie Gold are starting to puncture the box a little bit. What it mm -hmm. does do, it makes you get really creative. It's almost a good thing because it makes you get creative in this sort of controlled atmosphere. It's almost like telling an artist, well, you're gonna use just black and white and beige paint. 
Got it. And your okay. canvas is this Got big. It. Yeah. Let's see what you come up with. It's kind of what it is. Would you like that approach as yeah. opposed to what you did? I like that. I like that challenge. I don't like the way it kind of is right now. But but. What's happening is there's things like we call the choreographic step sequence, which wasn't there before, which is a, a, it's sort of you could, it's sort of free for all in choreography for a certain amount of time. Um, I I think what would be really cool is if they gave the guys and the girls thirty seconds or twenty five seconds to do what they wanted. Backflips, this. Oh. Just, just get creative for 30, 30. No rules at all. Mm -mm, do what you want. And, why, cartwheels. Why 30 seconds? I, well, let them do something to free this thing up. Oh, I see. I to, it's to, hard to music watch. or not? To, or just sure, no, 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 to no, no. pick in, your own in music? In their long program. And okay. here's their 30 seconds to do. They can't do Pull of Ravens anymore because it takes too time. It takes too much time. There's no right. credit. Let them do that. Right. Let, let a boy do a backflip. How cool would that be? Well, Randy, you Fun need to watch. pitch that. I, th I love that idea. I've tried. Well, I've, I've mentioned You're pitching that. it here oh. to 250,000 people. I know. That's going to be nice. Well, that would make it interesting. But we have another clip. Mm -hmm. And another it's, a, it's clip. kind of a montage. Oh, oh okay. You. This is the what montage is that a friend of ours um, put together. And it's, there's actually our footage from our very first competition. Um, in Culver City, probably 1969. And I think if more and people could, watched you two and they ran these, these clips often, <laughs> you'd have a, a larger viewing audience for um, skating. Oh, that's very sweet, sweet. thank okay. you. Well, let's watch Ty and Randy again. Okay. Is another adjective. I wanted to ask you, I had read that it was recent that you found out who your real mother was. Oh, I found yeah. that intriguing. How, how, what happened with that? Yeah, that I about? found out I was adopted and I, and I confirmed it at, at age 40. It was a family secret and, you know, I was born in 1957 and so he didn't talk about it. I was a product of a rape and my mom, my birth mom was 18 when she had me pregnant at 17. You know all that stuff, and um, and there was a Christian Zionist. The religion was sort of around it. It was a religion, religious adoption, and all that. So, um, but I, I had the feeling I looked different, acted different, felt different than my family, and I finally said, okay, I'm just going to find out. So, long story shorter, I had a search done, and my records were indeed uh, my adoption records were in California. And I petitioned to open them up, and I got them. And I, as an adult, I could do that. And I petitioned, I, I did it. And then I, I, the paperwork was my birth mom, why she gave me up, her name, and all that. And then I had a search consultant try to find her, and they did. And uh, then I had to go to the LA County of Records in um, the library, downtown LA, and get her marriage license. 
which shows you who she marries, mm -hmm. married, and the family tree kind of, you know, the, the, the spouse's parents. That confirmed who she was. Did you meet her? Yeah. What was that so like? So we found her. Uh, she was waiting for me. Really? Wonderful. Oh my God. Wonderful. Okay. Look at Ty. <laughs> Phoenix, please. <laughs> I met her too. But here, yeah. um, was it in Branson? Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. where you said, I have yeah. something to tell you. Yeah, I see. And um, yeah. his mom came to Branson. We were performing there at the Andy Williams Theater, and she was sitting right in front. So, my yeah, question yeah. to you how was that, knowing she was there, probably seeing you skate live for the first time? Absolutely. Were you nervous? Because you didn't seem nervous, but you're good at you can you're. You can put things I mean, in a box program, and put them away. Program it. Yeah. <laughs> How uh, was that? Uh, I was thrilled she I was, was there. Yeah, I was nervous. I was nervous, yeah. yeah. And I could, I could see her, you know, because if they're right, you know, yeah. the light catches them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she's a little thing, you know, and she was, you know, 4'9", four, 4'10", four, you know. But didn't and, she, uh, she would watch you at, when we were little uh, on she, TV. She and watched she knew. our whole career. Really? Didn't know that I was her son. Really? Wow. Yeah. Didn't I know that's didn't have that. yeah, incredible. So are you still are you getting close now? Yeah, yeah. So now a relationship, relationship has started, and okay. she's. I have half siblings. She had two kids of her own after me, and then she adopted two. She was a foster mom, and then adopted two. So I have four siblings up where they are, and yeah. So, so she watched you through the years, but didn't know that you were her son. Correct. What was it like, Randy, on another issue, another sad time in? Ty's career mm -hmm. in her life. We, um, when Ty first came on the show as an interviewee, uh, we talked about her suicide. Mm -hmm. And she mentioned on the show then, um, you were at her side mm -hmm. when she was in the hospital room. Correct? That, did I get the right place? The hospital or was it in her bed? bed no, you were bedside. It was the Cedars. What was it, it was like Cedars, for yeah. you to have Ty in this situation? and? Did you see it was developing and to the point where she was It was going to explode. Yeah, something was going to happen. Um, I got the call from who? Who called? Someone My called mom? me. Police or uh, somebody called I don't me. Know. It's a blur. Um, that she had attempted suicide and she was going to be, she was in the ambulance being taken to Cedars. And I said, okay, I'll go there. And so your mom knew and everything. Yeah. I must have talked to your mom. I think it was my mom. So my mom, um, Ty's mom and I were there. And they had her all wired up and stuff, and they were pumping her stomach, getting, she was, um, you were overdosing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, um, woo, thank you very much. I know. <laughs> and, um, it's yeah. deep. It was, it was a. You're um, watering up. You're yeah, tearing up. Don't yeah. let Ty see this. She's yeah. about to okay. go, too. That's, yeah. No, yeah. so, yeah. But so. that's, that's a, um, that's a true friend. I mean, Randy could have, I'm going to start crying. He could have gone, because it was it, the whole decade, you know, as fun as the 80s were for a lot of us, and I had, we had big fun, and I had real big fun. Um, <laughs> he had to, exactly, <laughs> he had to kind of see, you know, he was right by my side, and he saw it all unfolding, and he, saw, he watched me fall through the cracks and probably didn't know what to say, you know, because we were working so hard. He could have easily said, you know what, I'm done with her, I'm gonna get another partner. But he stuck by my side. Well, yeah, so. We didn't have to. We didn't have to, Randy. You could have. No, I, I, I know that. I know that. I know that. So, um, it. And we were young, so we could kind of. So, our young bodies and minds could pull it off to an extent. And then it blew. You know, it was going to blow up, you know. Um, but, you know, so then we took a break and all that. And then that's. I had to think of something to do because we weren't working for about a year or more, mm -hmm. yeah. well, closer to years. In fact, Ty, you had a question about what he's doing in work, work-wise. Oh, right. I mean, we got segue. A little over a minute. Are we, oh, segue. Okay. What are you doing now? I know you have a lot of projects coming up. Yeah. So that, so that may be getting to choreography. So, you know, yeah. I choreograph for, you know, the shows and stuff and other champions. But, um, right. You just so kind of pass that by, like that's a big thing that you're choreographing. Well, yeah, he's a but wonderful chore choreographer. But now, we got about a minute left. Yeah, but this <laughs> Randy Gardner School of Skating is going. You know, uh, where is that? It, it's in Santa Monica right, this season, mm -hmm. and it's it's a new brand. You know, I'm going into those pop up rinks, the the seasonal yeah, ice rinks that really don't have an organized 
ska learn to skate program because I love perpetuating figure skating to young ones. I just love that. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's going on. And uh, what else? Am I, I'm writing memoirs and philanthropy. We may have something coming up. We have a now. project that kind of resurfaced. So we're not, yeah. you know, we're not. We don't skate every day. But if something interesting comes along, and you know. It's fun. We'll do it. We'll put Absolutely. the skates on. Really, we're delighted to have you here, Thank as you so well much. as we're also very delighted that you took good, great care of our co-host. Well, you're taking care of her now. I All love right. that. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Randy. Hi. Thank you. I wish I had some tissues. Right. <laughs> well, that's our show for tonight. I'd like to personally thank Randy Gardner for extending our conversation with him for two extra special shows. And I also want to thank all of you for watching as well. And by the way, our next show, our guest will be one of the most famous house guests in American history. With us will be Cato Kalin from the O.J. Simpson trial. He'll be here showcasing his new men's clothing line called, get it, the Cato Potato. This should be a fantastic show. So for our guest, Randy Gardner, and for Ty Babylonia, and my director, George Montalvo, and the entire KBL crew, I'm Ken Boxer. Good night, everybody. Ken Boxer Live is brought to you by the following sponsors. Sterling Properties of Santa Barbara, hometown feel, world-class service. Key Sibella, Santa Barbara's most comprehensive day spa with award-winning service. Palazzo Restaurant, where people don't leave hungry or thirsty. The Wildcat Lounge, repeatedly voted Santa Barbara's best dance club. Harbor View Inn, welcome to Santa Barbara's premier four diamond luxury boutique oceanfront hotel. Wendy Foster, Santa Barbara and Montecito's premier clothing store. The Eagle Inn, a family owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. Via Rosa Inn, let us pamper you in international style. Hotel Milo, a classic Santa Barbara hotel on the beach. And by Taffy's Pizza, delivery, pickup, or dine in. Woody's Bodacious Barbecue, voted best barbecue in Santa Barbara for over 30 years. Santa Barbara Chicken Ranch, authentic Mexican style mesquite barbecue. Los Arroyo's Mexican Restaurant, Takeout. Santa Barbara Bar, finally, nutritious tastes great. Sammy's Camera, new location at 530 State Street. Jack's Bagels and Bistro, serving the very best food in a friendly and relaxed atmosphere. Summer Lee, makeup artist, stylist, and aesthetician. Perfect Computers, since 1990. The Ken Boxer Live musical theme composed and arranged by Mr. Michael J. Leslie. From all of us at Ken Boxer Live, I'm Baron Ron Heron. Good night, everyone.